so that we have the recording. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so what exactly are Kineo office hours? We are rolling these out starting today. We will be having them once a week. They will be on Thursdays at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, we actually won't have a session next week, but the next week we'll be picking back up and running with these. Um, and what we're doing in these office hours is we're just going to get, give a quick little 15 minute overview of something that is either a common question that we get asked in support a lot of times or something that's just kind of a cool new Totora feature or just something about Totora that maybe you're not aware of. So we'll spend about 15 minutes talking about that and then 45 minutes we're going to open up the floor. Um, we want you to come in, ask any questions that you have. This is a service that we offer only to our clients. So um, it is an exclusive offer just for our clients. Um, it is not open to anyone else. So I am so glad that you guys were able to join us. If you could, in the chat, guys, let me know um, which client you are with. I, I apologize for not knowing ahead of time, and your names do look familiar. Okay, Steve, I'm thinking you're American Cancer Society, correct? And JP, your email is showing Mary Inet. Fantastic, cool. And so um, you'll often maybe see that our support people have referred you here to take part in our office hour sessions. Um, and we encourage you to join us and um, tell the people that you work with. Uh, if they have any Totora questions, they're welcome to come join us as well. So uh, just glad to have you guys here, and let's go ahead and get started. So what we are talking about today is we are going to talk about learning plans. Um, we get a lot of questions about learning plans, and um, a lot of people don't really understand how they work, and, and what in the world is the difference between a learning plan and a program? Why would I want to use a learning plan? So we're going to touch on those today. Um, Learning plans, just to kind of give you a quick overview before we jump into a site, they allow your staff to find quick and targeted access to relevant learning. So it's more so allowing them to choose their learning versus you choosing the learning for them, which is what you would be doing using a program. Um, they are based on a site-wide template, and we'll take a look at that template as an administrator. So that is a template that you can set up for those learners. And there are a wide range of ways to implement your learning plan into that. And if you want to know a little bit more information and read a more detailed explanation of learning plans, you can find that at help.totoralms.com slash learning underscore plan underscore template. Um, so you can learn a little bit more about that. Also, it's really easy to just Google Totora learning plans, and it will pull up that link for you as well. So let's take a look at what exactly is a learning plan made up of. It, is, it has multiple different components. So you can make courses, competencies, objectives, or programs available as learning that learners can go in and say, hey, I'd like to be a part of that. And they can enroll themselves into that, that learning using a learning plan. Um, you have different workflows that you can set up when you're setting up your, your different um, templates. You can do a manager-driven workflow, a basic workflow, a user-driven, or a custom-driven. And we'll, we'll kind of dive into that here in just a moment and take a look at what exactly that means. So let's take a look. I'm going to get this off the screen and over here. And guys, if you have any questions as I'm going along, feel free to pop those into that questions box. Um, we'll definitely circle back around and answer those questions as we go. So I'm going to switch over here to Chrome. Here I'm logged in as George Black. We see this up at the top. He is actually a learner, and he has a shift supervisor on this particular site. This site is structured to um, mirror what you might see in a fast food organization, all the way from the folks that help you at the counter, all the way up to your corporate people. So it's structured all the way up to there. This fella here, he is a shift supervisor, and he actually works in one of the restaurants. Um, but since he is a shift supervisor, he may not need necessarily learning that is assigned directly to him. You may want to give these type of people the freedom to choose where their weaknesses are and go in and say, you know what, I really need some help here, here, and here. And so they can go in and they can choose that learning for themselves. So this is a learning plan that George has created for himself. 
let's actually back up a step and go to My Learning, Learning Plans. This is something that you can make available on your site. It is very simple for them to go in and click on Create a New Learning Plan. And then from here, they can choose from your templates. In this case, I only have one available. They can name that learning plan whatever they may want to. And then they can set goal dates. So they can say, you know what, I'm going to start it today, and I want to be finished by this particular time. And they can create that plan. And if you make these tabs available to them, which is your courses, competencies, objectives, and programs tabs, these are the different things that they can choose from for learning. So they could essentially enroll themselves into a program. They could enroll themselves into a course. Um, they could say, you know what, I need to work on these particular competencies. I would like to meet these particular objectives. Now keep in mind, um, competencies and objectives and programs and courses for that matter, these tabs aren't going to work if you don't have these elements on your site. Okay, so keep those types of things in mind when you're setting this up, but as an administrator, you can go in and you can say, you know what, I, I don't want competencies available for them to pick from. So you can do that as well. So I'm going to go to the Courses tab, and here he can click on the Add Courses tab, and it's kind of, it almost looks like your administrative view, right? So he can come in and he can say, you know what, I need to revamp myself on health, health and safety. So he can save that. And then he can go up here. And once he has done this, this particular one is set up to be more so learner driven, but with a manager aspect. And so what he can do is he can send off an approval request. And when he sends that approval request, he's going to see that he has sent that approval request. And then when he goes out to his learning plans, so back to the My Learning Learning Plans, he's going to see the different learning plans that he has sent off. And he's going to see that currently there's the status of those, that they've been unapproved at this point. Um, but we can take a look as his manager. And let me refresh the screen here. We should see another uh, uh, approval request pop through. There it is. Okay, so he's going to see, first thing when he comes in and takes a look at his dashboard, if you have this alerts block set up, he's going to see, oh, okay, George has come in and he said that he would like to participate in some learning. And so he can grant or deny approval to this for George. Um, so if he goes in and he approves it, what that's going to do at that point, that is going to grant George the ability to go ahead and enroll in that learning. Okay? He can't actually launch that course until his manager says, yep, that's okay, you can go ahead and you can take that. That's, that is relevant to your position. So that is something to keep in mind, and this is just from your learner's perspective. This is from your manager's perspective. Let's take a look really quickly at what this looks like to an administrator. So I'm going to log out and log in as myself. And let's go take a look at learning plans and see what you can do with those. So this is going to be located underneath Site Administration Learning Plans. And here you can manage your templates. So inside of that area is where you as an administrator can go in and you can say, eh, you know what, I don't want to make competencies available, I don't want to make this or that available. So I'm just going to edit the one that I have existing already. I see that there are eight instances on my site. But I'm going to go in, I'm going to edit. So here's your general settings where you can rename it to whatever you would like. And then you have your components tab. The Components tab, this is where you're going to turn off and on what you would like your learners to be able to see. Um, if you want them to see courses, competencies, objectives, or programs, this is where you would turn that information off and on. And then finally, we have our workflow. So taking a look at our workflow, we've got a couple of different ones here. I'm going to start down here with Manager Driven. Manager Driven means that a manager can go in and they can create a learning plan for their team. So I can say, you know what, I want my team to take the, this particular learning. So it's going to be your Manager Driven workflow. Uh, next, we're going to jump up here to Basic Workflow. Basic Workflow is what we were just looking at. 
um, and that allows your learners to uh, manager to assign the content to their staff's learning plan or the user can request. So what we were seeing there is that the manager could actually go in and add some additional learning. Um, so if George said that he needed help with health and, health and safety, the um, manager could also say, well, you also need some help with the code of conduct training. Um, so he could also go in and do some additional recommended learning. And then we have our user driven workflow. This is going to give the user complete control over their learning plan and they can perform most of those actions by themselves so they can go ahead, they can approve the learning, then go ahead and launch that learning. And then you also have a custom workflow. So if you were to select this, this tab up here, um, and then you would get your advanced workflow settings if you choose the custom workflow, fine-grained control, um, where you can kind of go in and you can tweak and, and work with the different workflows that are available and just go ahead and have your own workflow at that point. So that is learning plans literally in a nutshell. Um, we, we, we beat the 15 minute marker. So if you guys have any questions <clears throat> about this, about anything Tonera, um, I'm here to open the floor to you. Um, if your question is kind of complex and more related to your solution where I may have to go in and kind of do some digging on your site, what we'll do is I will set up a case for you um, and then I will be the one working that case. So I'll go in, I'll dig, I'll find some more information and uh, help you out there. Okay, so let me go ahead, pop a PowerPoint back up here and give you guys the floor.